All right, back again, Luke here. And today, what I thought we could do is take a look at how to wire up an Operation Wolf soundboard. And this is something that I was looking for on the net, and I didn't find very much information on it. So I figured I'd make a video here for you guys who are trying to wire one of these up and don't know exactly how to do it, or wondering why your board doesn't get sound. Uh, a couple of things here. This isn't going to be uh, step by step. I'm not going to do any soldering on this video, and uh, I'll just show you what I've done. This is a board that I wound up getting uh, working here recently, and I'm using my handy dandy Taito 2 JAMA PCB Junkie. Dot net uh, adapter which is awesome works great but anyway these boards here the top board is the sound board the bottom board is the uh, main board and with the uh, the sound board here it has two amplifiers usually this one only has one which is fine you can still run this with just one and uh, it'll put out sound fine a couple of things that will go wrong with these boards here is you might get a, a bad ribbon cable here or a bad strap you might find that the ram goes bad in the top right uh, corner and and uh, the Z80 has a tendency to die out. Uh, one of the other ones here is the Yamaha uh, YM2151. But uh, those are pretty much the main things that uh, go wrong with these boards. At least uh, that I found with these ones. I have a couple of these boards that I've already repaired. But uh, on to the important part. One thing you'll note here is uh, I've made a little adapter here. And with this board, the top board, it actually has pins running along the bottom here, but it doesn't have anything on the top. Uh, you'll see these four pins here, one, two, three, four, and you won't be able to see on this side, but there are one, two, three, four. You can almost see through the PCB here. Uh, these first four are gonna be your plus five volts. These last four are gonna be your ground. You don't need all of them, but um, you know, using at least two of them, I would say are good on each side. I've made this adapter here and I've wired it just along the bottom because the top is actually not connected to anything. So what makes it nice is that it can just slip right on here and uh, I can pull this off when I need. Um, I did kind of negate that, um, <laughs> making it a little bit less uh, easy to take that off by uh, soldering these two wires on here. Um, I tried to find a clip that I could press on here, but I didn't uh, have anything right off the hand, uh, offhand, so I just wound up soldering these two wires on. If you take a look down here at the bottom board, you'll see pin one, two, three, four, five. Pin five here at the very top, there's going to be a small little uh, dot here. It looks like a via. Well, it actually is a via. It goes through the board here, but that first one is going to run all the way here to your end pin. This is going to be your speaker plus, and then the second one, which is right behind it, that's going to be your audio minus. So you'll have your plus and your minus wired directly to here. And if you have a handy dandy adapter like uh, the one here from PCBJunkie.net, it uh, takes all of the um, signals and it runs it right through JAMA, so you're all set. These here are also going to be the uh, important points. Uh, you're going to have your plus 12, your uh, minus 5, your 5 volts, and then your uh, ground. Those are all going to need to be uh, connected up here. What I've done is I've run the plus 5 volts here to the plus 5 volt uh, rail on the side. And then I've run the ground here to the ground. So we're tapping the 5 volts and the ground from there. And that's it, guys. Once you get all that wired up, you are ready to rock. This thing should work pretty good. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's kind of pop this on and check some of that. Whoa. There you go. So there is your soundboard. Uh, these volume pots still will work on the back here. Uh, the one for this amp will. Uh, the other one here, I don't have another. Maybe actually, I might have another board there I can show you. Uh, okay, I do. Here is uh, another board where you can see the two amps on it. So. Um, but yeah, just having the one on here works perfectly fine. And you will notice that sometimes when you see them online, they do have one amp, but that's all you need. But uh, if we put in a coin here, let's start it up. But yeah, the volume and everything, everything is working fantastic here. Um, it is going to need to be wired up, obviously. I haven't gotten this thing wired up yet for the guns, but 
once I do that, hopefully we'll be able to do some uh, shooting with this game here. But nevertheless, guys, just wanted to share this with you as a little bit of a look at how to wire up a Operation Wolf soundboard. And hopefully that'll help out someone somewhere down the line. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Sorry, but you are finished here.